In this tutorial I'm going to show you how to make Windows XP look like Windows 7. Um, so, so here are the things that I need. This UX patcher um, and this theme and I've downloaded them um, from the URLs that you'll find in the magazine. So first of all just double click that um, and it needs to be uh, it needs to be extracted so just click extract all files um, and follow the wizard. Um, and open it up and run it. Um, and just click patch. Now, when you get this um, this prompt to insert your disk, you can just click cancel. and then just click OK here. OK, so now that the computer has restarted, the next thing to do is open up this folder, which is the theme, um, the one that you, down you download that from the URL that's given in the magazine. Um, so, so all of this needs to be extracted, so just click on it again, as you did before, extract all files. Um, and then the first thing to do is go for the fonts folder open this thing up um, and you just need to click install. Now go to the styler toolbar one um, and run this one first, first install me. Just wait for all the files to copy. Um, and then as it says, then run me. Um, and once that's done, you just go back to the main folder and go to the theme one and run that and click install. And then you get this, the display properties um, dialog. So you can get this by um, by right clicking the desktop and choosing properties um, or, or via control panel, but it comes up automatically for the first time. So in here, it should say 7VG refresh um, and just click on apply. And there you go. That looks a lot like Windows 7. Uh, the, the next thing to do is make a little registry tweak that fixes the taskbar up. So um, go to start run, um, type in regedit and OK. Um, and now you get up the, the registry editor. Um, so you need to go to this particular key. So it's um, H key current user, then control panel, uh, then desktop, then window metrics and you need to make a new value. So right click in here, new string value, uh, call it min width, like that, and press enter. Um, and now we need to set the value, so double click it, um, and the value should be minus 255, and okay. With that done, you have a, you have a setup that looks quite a lot like Windows 7. Anyone glancing at that probably wouldn't think that it was XP. Um, other things that you could do perhaps, um, you could get the standard Windows 7 background. Um, you could just get that from the internet. Um, just go to image results and that's the standard background so you could just take that and put that, make that as your Windows wallpaper. Um, that would make it look even more like Windows 7. At this point you should Restart your computer to make sure that all the changes have been put into effect.